Watching the NASDAQ for a possible long here on this dip. Long on the NASDAQ. Target is 495. Secondary target is a little bit higher. Target filled. Stop at break even. Now we trail. Next objective, if the index can start climbing a little bit further. There we go. I want to see if they can crack above that bear bars high. If they can crack above the bear bars high, then I would like to try to lock my stop in to 95 quarter and see if we can run it. But Right now, stops at break even. One minute. <laughs> One minute until the real bad timing for that. <laughs> All right, well, break even on the last portion there, but we got the first target filled. Nice pop. All right, NASDAQ potential, or I'm sorry, Dow potential long. Long on the Dow. Looking for an objective at 26.133. Final target is at 26.208. Target filled. At 10 a.m. Eastern time, we have the US ISM. Stop to break even. PMI. Forecast 50 spot go to break even, you rotten thing. There we go. All right, let's see if they can give us some more continuation. So I'm long on the Dow with a stop at break even on the remainder, seeing if I can get a run for the final target at 26,208. The NASDAQ also isn't looking horrible for a possible long. Come on, Dow. If we can get a bull bar, I wouldn't mind doing a at least a one candle trail along the way. Maybe a two candle trail, depending on how aggressive it is or how aggressively it's moving. Uh, the cost of the micro Dow is 50, just like the micro ES, the micro Russell. The only one that's different right now is the NASDAQ, which is double uh, for <laughs> obvious reasons. So I am willing to give this a little bit of wiggle room. Again, you know, for runners, I try to give it as much room as I can. I'm very patient with winning trades. And if it wants to come back, that's fine. It's just icing on the cake. NASDAQ just went bare in golfing. <laughs> Unless it's going to go bowling golfing. <laughs> All right, bear golfing. Jeez.
Jeez. <clears throat> yeah, we're at all time highs again on the NASDAQ. One minute remaining. One minute until news. When you're at all-time highs, does it make sense to take targets? Yeah, for sure, because nobody else has anything to go with, right? What else do you work with? Oh, there's 11,000. We're at all-time highs. Well, okay. <laughs> you know, it's, it's easy, for sure. There's a, there's a much bigger psychological role that that plays. Stopped out at... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this BS. <laughs> Stopped out at break-even. <laughs> Just to see that. Uh-huh. Looking, I like this long here on the NASDAQ. Potential long for a pop back up. Looking for a target at 537. Uh, extended target if it does actually want to run though 54 half. I like that washout and they gave me a better entry right near the candle lows. A little bit more bearish continuation. I'm going to narrow in the target a little bit closer. 535 quarter. Still looking for a big runner though, 51 half. Yeah, 35 quarter. After that failure on the lows, I have a very hard time believing that the buyers won't try to make another attempt at 44 quarter. Major objective for a lot of buyers is going to be back to the top of that bear bar at 539, but I want to get out ahead of that. There we go, NASDAQ. You see that volume start pumping in? That was a lot of speed in that volume that hit that. Yeah. 
There you go. Give it that pop up to 35 quarter. We might be able to blow off the highs through 40. There you go. Very good sign. Big bull bar coming in there. If they can crack above the high, it's likely going to jump straight to the target. Close, 34. Target filled. Stop to break even, 31 quarter. Now we run it. unless they whip me out again. Give me one NASDAQ, come on. Jeez, dick. <laughs> Jeez. It just will not let me have a runner. One of these days, you rotten pecker, I'm going to get one. <laughs> Come on.